Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another body modification video and the topic is tongue splitting. I've found a bunch of people showing the tongue splitting process from getting it done to the stitches to the healing and then the outcome once it is healed. So let's jump on in. I'm going to start off this video with a little description as to how the tongue works, how the muscles in it work and how a tongue split essentially works. A lot of people on this particular video have this particular question. I've done this before, but I'm gonna teach you guys about tongue anatomy real quick. Because the ability to move the tongue parts independently is the main reason why people get their tongue split. Like, yeah, it's cosmetic and it looks cool, but it does serve like a small purpose, doing little cool tricks, like I can cross my tongues. That's pretty cool. So if you go look in the mirror right now, and stick your tongue out, you're gonna see a line down the middle of your tongue. It might be really faint, but it will be there. That line is essentially just a layer of skin or flesh holding your two independent parts of your tongue together. You already have two sets of muscles and two sets of nerves. So a tongue split is definitely not just cutting one muscle in half. I don't think I'd be down to do that, personally. It's just cutting that skin, that like benign flesh that's in the middle of the two parts, allowing you to move the tongues independently. So like, it is very natural. It comes extremely naturally. Like literally immediately post procedure, you realize, oh, there are two tongues and there are two muscles working. But since you just mutilated your tongue, you don't have that kind of range of motion yet. Um, so for me, I feel like it took about a month to be able to cross the tongues on demand whenever I wanted and quite quickly. So yeah, it takes practice, but like th that you can do pretty much right away. I mean, after the sutures are out and everything, you can do it immediately. Hope this helped. That was a very informative and interesting video. I liked the way they described it and like, made it as simple as possible so that people can understand. Because I guess a part of body modifications that most people don't understand is how they work and like why people would do that. So yeah, I really appreciate this video and hopefully by showing it here, I can help even more people understand it. I'm terrible at posting, but it's been a whole year since I had my tongue split and I still love it. So I'm gonna show you some gross videos of when I was healing. Whoa, she thick. I don't know why that particular thickness of the tongue there looks yucky to me. See, it looks a lot nicer when it's like this thinner version of the tongue. That thick version just like flapping around the place, not for me. Big drool, baby. Baby. She thick. That's all I have to say. All the tongues are she's, just so we know that. and. She all very thick. You can just see how drained the people are after. Whoa. They all look so different, to be honest. Like I get that tongues look different as it is, but the shape of your tongue also creates like a different look to your two tongues then as well. Some people are gonna have shorter splits than others. Some people are gonna have longer splits. Some people obviously have bigger tongues than others. It's a crazy, like they're all unique in themselves, aren't they? Count down to my tongue procedure. Seven days, six days. Oh my God. So this same person had saved all the stories from the tongue split on their Instagram. So I'm gonna go through and watch it now. In roughly 24 hours, I'm going to get my tongue split. Content warning. From this point on, I will be showing my wound and healing process. Stop here if you don't wanna see stitches. 15 minutes after the split. Whoa, that's a lot of, I feel like you'd be dying. It's a lot of movement for how painful that would have been. My tongue was so swollen, my mouth couldn't open wide enough. Oh, so much saliva. April 28, 2023.
That dark bruising you can see is from my teeth. Can't open my mouth wide enough to make space for the swelling. I couldn't brush my teeth or clean my tongue the entire healing process. I used Arnica drops to reduce bruising and swelling every four hours. My tongue looks disgusting right now. It is not just plaque. It is also my tongue shedding its outermost layer and it smells really fucking bad. Ooh, delicious. What everyone mentions is the smell of your mouth when it's healing, which is fucking awful. But nobody mentions the feel of what's making it smell, which I feel is a bit worse. It feels like going to sleep with a mouth full of melted ice cream in your mouth, sleeping with your mouth open all night and waking up with the most vicious slime coating your entire mouth. Ugh. It coats the very back of your throat and you can't wash it out, can't swallow it. And it's so thick. It won't slide forward to spit out. It just sits back there in the back of your throat. Yuck, I would die. I can't even stand the slightest bit of anything on my teeth, on my tongue, on my gums, like nothing. Ugh, I can't imagine, it's so green. But like, what could you do? You can't sit there and scrub it. I'm assuming some sort of oral mouthwash is being used though, because even with a healing piercing in your mouth, you're using that. So why would this be any different? But that obviously isn't going to be enough to clean off all of this. So even if, like a mouthwash is being used, it would not be enough. The hardest part of all this is not being able to eat though. This whole healing process, I feel very weak and fatigued. I couldn't walk around for long periods and had to drink three liters of water a day to keep up with the constant drooling and preparing my meals and trying to eat them was just as exhausting as not eating. The swelling is finally going down. I have no pain and my stitches will be taken out in the evening. So this is how I'm talking right now. <laughs> it's very hard to talk. The stitches are very constricting. But tomorrow, I hope tomorrow is better after the stitches are removed. I can eat. I can eat. Hooray. I can't roll my R's anymore and I can't tongue pop. I am just checking in um, now that my tongue is done swelling after the stitches were removed and... Clearly that was just because this is very recent and it's healing that there was a whistle. But imagine if you like got this done and you became like the old man or family guy. Like you got a whistle. I'd just chop the whole thing off. There's no way I would want to continue with that. I hope she does it again. I feel like I'm talking a lot better. Um, Give me a whistle. Obviously whistle. there are some words and some sounds that um, are just coming out a little more, fun please. and a little different, but a little different because you sound just like this guy. <laughs> when I got this done, the hardest thing to come to terms with was not the pain, not the constant drooling, not the not being able to eat. It was the fact that I knew that there were going to be people in my life that could not accept me this way mm. anymore be it followers friends and family and while i haven't discovered <laughs> any uh, negativity yet i know it will come and it will hurt because i'm still the same person mm. the same attitude nothing's changed yeah. i just have two tongues now so thank you for still being here that is so true. I love the way she's put it. Even though for the most part, it seems like everything I have to say about body modification is very negative. I have nothing against people who do it. The issue I have stands with safety and the like legality of it and the unregulated, uncertified, unlicensed people performing these things. That's where the issue stands. I don't see people any different for getting any of these procedures. This actual video should be shown to anyone who is judging towards people who change their appearance by choosing to get a body modification or otherwise. The person is no different, so why should anyone treat them any different? There's no reason. I feel like I have to say for some people 
family, friends, that it's not like I'm going to be making this tongue my entire personality. Also love that too, because <sighs> hate to be a bitch, but making it your entire personality, especially when it, like so many people have it now. Me forever saying like people's like very unique body modifications aren't unique. I don't mean it like that. They're definitely still very unique, but let's just not be making it your whole personality. I know people who tattoos are their whole personality and it is the most embarrassing thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. It makes me not like them. If you have nothing else, you need to find a hobby, you need to find something that fulfills you because ink on skin is not that. If it's your career, then sure, then it basically is your whole personality. But if you are just a person who enjoys tattoos and you get them on your skin, having tattoos is your entire personality, pretty lame. Very controversial thing to say, but honestly, tattoos aren't even that cool. I feel like they were cool a long time ago when no one had them and you were like rebellious and like crazy and wild to have a tattoo. I think they would have been so cool back then. Now, every person has them. Bit boring. I know. I just don't find it that cool. <laughs> and to the point that it's like, all right, another person has one. Great. You know, probably a lot of people don't agree with me on that one. It certainly doesn't make a person any cooler if they have them. I've met some fucking losers with tattoos. I've met some cool people with tattoos too, but the tattoos aren't what define them. The tattoos aren't what make them cool at all. That has nothing to do with who they are or the kind of person they are or the way they treat people or the things they do or the things they have achieved. Tattoos don't define them. And I think that is so important to not make them your personality. It's just something that I've wanted done. I have stretched ears too. And like, if that's, it's weird to me that like, you could change one thing about yourself and everybody's like, whoa you're not the same person that i thought you were i can't i can't be around you like that appearance has nothing to do with heart personality nothing so if i love this person that is something that you are willing to drop a person for please drop me <laughs> please yeah because it really shows that person and the kind of person they are if they're so willing to drop someone over the way they look that's fucked up. I really feel like the trash will take itself out of my life. A hundred percent. Something like this. So I can't wait until I can talk normally and uh, talk without opening my mouth so much. Uh, it's kind of hard right now because I'm scared <laughs> of biting my tongue. Uh, but there's nowhere to go but up. Uh, from here. Yay. Thank you. What a positive outlook on it. I love the way she described it. That was amazing. Love that. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like down below and subscribe if you're new here and I'll be back very soon. Bye.